Hello everyone, my name is Holden Hardman. Thank you so much for joining us again for another video. Today I'm showing my lovely wife, Transformers Revenge of the Fallen. Transformers won our Patreon poll we did a few weeks back. We already did the first one and it did surprisingly well. I, I, was, I expected it to do okay, but it actually exceeded what I thought it was going to do. I'm curious how the rest of the Transformers movies are gonna do. What was our general consensus? Our general consensus was like, they were fun. There was a fun movie. I think it's, you know, probably hated on a little too much. But now we're getting into some of the sequels. So uh, I'm really curious about Jen's thoughts on this. In other news, we have moved officially. I don't know if this is the first time they're gonna be seeing the new house or not. We have officially moved. We officially have internet. So that's great. We're actually having a tech come by later to move the modem over here. They said it, it could only be placed in that room, which is in the worst place of the house. Uh, but then another tech later said that actually they could be put anywhere. Uh, so I was like, well, can they put it over here? We're like the center of the home. And they're like, yeah, it'll be $150 because we're AT&T. And I said, okay. Anyways, so we're very happy to be moved. We are catching up. We're having to set up the office upstairs for us to edit. And I'm going to be teaching Jen how to edit as well. So she's very excited for that. We've gotten most of our boxes unpacked, but uh, once we're all settled, which should be very, very soon, you should see a steady uptick in videos. Hopefully you haven't seen too much of a lag. We've still been doing about two or three a week, but we should go, we should be steadily going back up uh, as we get settled. Anyways, Transformers, Revenge of the Fall, and Shia LaBeouf makes a return for this one as Sam would wiki. How are you feeling going into the sequel? I'm excited. I thought Transformers was pretty good and I was actually kind of shocked with how many people commented that they love Transformers as well. I was expecting a little bit of a negative feedback overall. So I'm kind of glad that I'm not the only one that thought it was pretty decent. I'm curious how this one is going to go as far as like, our reception of it, the characters. I really wanna know if it's gonna be everybody that was in the first one. And I really wanna see Bumblebee because honestly, that was the greatest character for me overall. I loved Bumblebee, I'm excited. As much as I think the first Transformers is probably hated on too much, I think there is some validity to the criticism of Michael Bay. He has a lot of style, a lot of things going on, but my probably my biggest problems with him is that there isn't a whole lot of substance there. We talked about how Megan Fox probably could have just been taken out of the movie and nothing would have changed, but she's there for eye candy. And there's kind of a theme, not only in the Transformers movies, but in a lot of Michael Bay's movies in that way. But we'll go ahead and get into this one and uh, see what you think. But first, we can't forget the comment of the day. Deposit there. First comment comes from Dylan Jones. Thank you so much, Dylan, for commenting. He says, I think the Transformers franchise is absolutely horrible. Uh, the first one is probably the worst of all. I disagree with that. However, for some reason, when I watch this movie, I walk away feeling good. I think that's the Michael Bay touch. The movie can be absolute garbage, but for some reason, his movies shoot endorphins through our skulls and just makes us feel good. Uh, Shia's character is funny as well. I, th I think that helps. We have seen, we talked about this in the last one, we have seen such a fluctuation of people who are like, this movie is my childhood. I don't care what people say. These are fun, great blockbuster movies. And other people are like, this is absolute garbage. How could anybody like this? This one seems to be a, a mix of both. I agree with the Michael Bay touch. There's something about, it's just like this, I wanna say mindless entertainment, but it does have that element. So good comment there, but I got, I got another one for you. I'm not done. We got another comment of the day. This one comes from Rainbow Pegacorn Productions, who says, it doesn't matter how many times I've seen the movie, the scene with Optimus and the other Autobots arriving on Earth will always give me the good kind of chills. I agree fully. I also think one of my favorite parts is having Peter Cullen return as Optimus Prime. Every time, it doesn't matter the t the, how much I like the movie as a whole, hearing Optimus Prime speak gives me goosebumps every time. But anyways, I know you guys are done with the comments of the day. Let's go ahead and get into it. Transformers Revenge of the Fallen. Yeah, like, pew, pew, pew. sounds like a video game. In association with Hasbro. <laughs> Don't they create toys? Oh, they created the Transformers toys. Our worlds have met before. Oh, I've seen this Ancient Aliens episode. <laughs> oh. oh my gosh. Together, we form an alliance with the humans. Somebody commented that Josh Jamel lives in Minnesota. Oh, really? Yeah. That's where you're from. We hunt for what remains of our Decepticon foes. Holden likes to confuse that with Wisconsin. I mean, they're pretty much the same place. No, they're not. Oh, yeah, you betcha. I just got to scoot around you there. He caught me saying that last week. 
if you have to scooch around you. I mean, that looks so good. He's here. Oh my gosh. I'm not sure why people would even try fighting the auto, the Decepticons with like machine guns. RC twins! Target coming your way! RC twins? Yeah, remote control cars. Yeah, I got him, I got him. Woo! There's me. <laughs> This is combat, man. Oh, brain freeze, man. What's wrong with you? Side swipe. Clear a path. Oh, nice. Ooh. Oh. They're in China because they uh, want to market heavily to the Chinese market, Transformers. A lot of big budget movies will have sequences in China specifically to try and get that market. Or, like appeal to them. Optimus! Are these our, our guys? This is Optimus, baby. Remember seeing him at Universal? Yeah. I remember a lot of the uh, diehard fans didn't like that they painted flames on them. A little too cliche. Yeah, it's like something you'd see on like a douchebag's lifted truck. <laughs> flames. Pull over. Pull over. The fallen shall rise again. What is that supposed Not to mean? today. Oh yeah, you betcha. Jeez. Oh, oh, oh Boston. On. It's your little baby. Oh, that is you. Jeez. Oh. Oh. I love it oh, when you call yeah. me young lady. You dirty old man. Right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Mojo, no dominating friend. <laughs> See, Michael Bay. She's in it for the plot. I mean, I felt like <laughs> they could have done something with her character. It's, it's not even an effective way to paint. Oh, it's the freaking uh, thing from Chuck. Oh <laughs> my gosh. It's like a piece of the AllSpark. Oh. <laughs> Michael Bay really is just like a middle school boy making big budget movies. How much time has passed? A couple years, I think. Oh, it's Bumblebee! I love him. He's just shooting the lawn up. <laughs> Huh. How is Bumblebee just like a dog? Why would you not take him though? Like I don't get that. He's got a cool car at the very least. Freshmen aren't allowed to have cars. I know. Freshmen aren't allowed to have cars. Oh, man, don't make it hard. Can you just look at me, please? Freshmen aren't allowed cars. Yeah, I don't know how. To, I don't know what the deal with that is. So he's just gonna abandon him. I guess so. I don't know what she's doing. I don't know. Uh, cue the top 40 music. Lens flare. Circle round. 5 p.m. Golden hour. I am really broken up about Bumblebee not going with him. Yeah, I care way more about Bumblebee than I do Michaela. Soundwave acknowledges. That sounded a lot like uh, the bad guy from Spectre Gadget. Ow! I got the green. That hurt, man. Wait, so these are the Autobots? Yeah, these are a couple of them. They're the more racially insensitive Autobots. <laughs> Those of them start entering places. Uh-oh. I really like Optimus Prime a yeah, lot. He's, he's the best. God made us in his image. We made him. Whoa, I can see every middle schooler being like, whoa, yeah, dude. Agree to share your intel, but not your advancements in weaponry. We've witnessed your human capacity for war. It would absolutely bring more harm. <laughs> yeah. I like that. Now, what do we know so far? The enemy leader, caught by NDE-1, the bottom of the Laurentian abyss. Oh, that's right. The all spark is locked in an electromagnetic vault. Here Decepticons, we have located the shard. 21 guns. Oh, I love Green Day. Must be oh, I like that alien yeah. picture. Cloverfield. Uh, sorry, he said, okay, don't be sucking the sack, bro. Shh. Oh, Crackers. It's just like Hogwarts. Right. This is. <laughs> 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 said the bake sale for the environment at the. You don't often see white boys with the dreadlocks. <laughs> oh my gosh. You want it? Hey, Professor. I'd do anything for an A. All right. Great storytelling, that's all I know. It's cool. Oh, that is cool. 
Oh gosh, are they all gonna turn into like little Decepticons? Well, you just have to see. <gasps> Thousands of them, millions. Look at all that nanotechnology. Pretty cool character design though. Oh, it works. This looks like the Power Rangers Turbo movie. Oh, crap. Take it down! Never done it before. Oh. Uh oh, Chuck. This is gonna be like Michaela's competition. I guess. Don't do it, Sam. Let's play some checkers. You can sit over there. <laughs> oh. What are you doing? Houston, we have a problem. What is that? I love Kimmy. Oh, no, I, I can't do this right now. Oh. What is she doing? You know, she's got every STD in the book. If this is how she throws herself <laughs> around. Oh, sweetie. No. <laughs> All right, Michaela is right. way better than her. Yeah, B, just kick her out. <laughs> Good for you, B. Enough. I got windows. <laughs> the last fragment of the Allspark was stolen. They must be reminded by another human of the trust we share. Your world must not share the same fate as Cybertron. Fate rarely calls upon us at a moment of our choosing. True. The middle of the North Atlantic. The middle of the North Atlantic. Nobody caught that. Okay. Oh. You're taking a dive. I'd hate to be in the submarine that's supposed to like control Megatron. Uh oh, that's all it took. They're not even gonna like put him in like a box or something. <laughs> Yeah, I gotta just kill you, dude. Starscream, I'm home. Lord Megatron, I was so relieved. Pathetic. Uh oh. Even in death, there is no command but mine. You have much to learn, my disciple. The cube was merely a vessel. It can only transform. Transform? Only a prime can defeat me. Only one. Without more energon, the hatchlings will keep dying. Time! Oh, Rain Wilson. Gravity. Finish that for me. What? We're going. Orion! What is what is what is this? Of Albert Einstein. 14 minutes. <laughs> Amen. Anyone else care to have some sort of mental breakdown? What's my wife's no? Michaela, do not touch it, okay? You're hot, but you ain't too bright. Yes. Oh, um, wow. That was kind of unnecessary. Oh, stink! Oh, that's my eye, you crazy bitch! Is that SpongeBob? Is that Tom Kenny's voice? Bad boys, too. Repeat yourself, repeat yourself, repeat yourself, repeat yourself, repeat yourself, repeat yourself. Can I just sit and watch? I'll, I'll, I'll repeat it quietly. Uh oh. Oh, no. Relax. You are What? Sam? <gasps> oh. She's a Decepticon? You're either watching porn or they're a Decepticon. <laughs> All right. I'm a victim. Are you a victim? <laughs> It's not fun for me, okay, Michaela? And it smelled like like diesel. Michaela! Kiss this bitch. It'll be all right. Grab my hand, Harry. Oh, jeez. Oops. Oh, yeah. Is everyone Let's okay? Walk away from that. Oh, that was a close one, guys. Oh, Megatron. You remember me, don't you? <laughs> it feels good to grab your flesh. Delicate work to do. Oh, the Matrix. Oh, oh my gosh. And develop our relationship and, and see where it leads us, okay? So Oh yeah! Oh, the Autobots. Just in time. I like time. it! This movie sex. Yeah, go with Optimus. Oh yeah! Oh, 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 oh
Yeah, this is what I like. Megatron looks a bit bigger than Optimus, too. Oh grab, my god. Freaking trees. <laughs> Ooh, sword. His trash talk is improved. <laughs> Seems a lot feistier than this one. Yeah. yeah. I feel like the CGI or the special effects look really good. I think they're also, um, like, it's not as shaky as the first movie either. It is still, but it's easier to tell who's who. Ooh. Oh my gosh. If they get rid of Optimus Prime, I'm going to lose it. Not worth a single human life. You'll never stop at one. Yeah. Optimus fighting what, three Decepticons here, one of which is Megatron. Oh! Uh. Jeez, Optimus. And he insults him to boot. I know. Where are you? <gasps> oh! What happened? What happened? He's not like. He stabbed him through the back and blew a hole through him. Yeah, but he's like a machine or whatever, so he's fine, right? I'm gonna need a heck of a good mechanic. Well, how do they fix them? Oh. <gasps> Is he gone for real? Yeah. <gasps> Can't he like, like plug him in or, or plug him in? Regenerate or? Well, I mean, I, I don't see why they couldn't do what they did with Megatron. Give him some new parts and touch him with the All Spark piece. I don't like that. It'll be all right. Will he? Yeah, of course. He's like a main character. You should see the 1986 movie. Maybe we'll do that one. Oh, so this was like a remake? No, the 1986 was a cartoon movie. Oh my gosh. It could be anyway. Time for the world to know of our presence. No more disguises mobilize. Gadget. It is time. Bonsoir. What? It really is me. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Oops. These are coming out during Marvel's phase one. What a time to be alive. What a time to be 12. You are invading my space. I'm gonna have to drop you. Would you get up here? <laughs> this is really us when we travel. Steve. <laughs> <laughs> Holy crap. How do they not see this coming? That's what I wanna know. Did I show up on radar? Oh no, they're hitting the world's major monuments. I didn't realize we were watching Armageddon. It is true that nobody does action like Michael Bay. Absolutely. Hang on, Rose. Uh oh. You are not alone in this universe. Turn over this boy. <laughs> Jeez. Where did Michaela go? This is kidnapping. She's around. What are you gonna do with this shrimp taco? Oh, jeez. <laughs> It's very clear that they uh haircut with your bitch ass. Go up the difference in personalities. Yeah, that's one way to put what this is. Y'all how y'all just gonna drop Optimus like that? You can't set him down gently. What a piece of me! I will tear you apart! Tell them to lower the weapons! The the this is our war now, and we will win it as we always have. With a coordinated military strategy. Uh you won't be needing this anymore. Oh. Get your assets back to base. Can we please fix Optimus Prime up? Uh, Plug, just, get him a chart. Can we check and the what warranty? What is wrong with him? <laughs> check the warranty on him. Oh, Bumblebee. I feel like Bumblebee is not getting enough spotlight. Well, he has his own movie. Came out after all these Transformers. Why are we stuff. not watching that? We, we probably will. You are the person I care about most in my life. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at that sweet face. <laughs> Bumblebee can't talk like Optimus Prime. Sam. No, they like fixed his voice in the last movie and then it's broken again in this one. Optimus recruited these guys and called them in. You don't like them, huh? Like a message. Or well, they're like caricatures. We don't really do much reading. Not so much. Well, if you can't read it, we gotta find somebody who can. I don't want to be that guy, but there uh, seems a little racist. Yeah, he was there. That guy, and now he's like running a, a meat store. <laughs> you live with your mama? No, my mama lives with me. It's a big difference. Like I... <laughs> <laughs> this little guy from the first one. Mm -hmm. Archaeologists found these unexplained markings in ancient ruins all over the world. These are symbols you've seen in your head? Robots. In disguise. 
robots in disguise. We're actually having her contribute. Wow. Yeah, I, I'm liking her a lot more in this movie. She's less shallow in this one. Well, I think they did a better job at just displaying that she's, you know, she has a brain and. Seekers, pal. Oldest of the old. Oh, they've been here for thousands of years. Look. Well, I'm glad he's just cooperating with them. Yeah. And the dream. Did we go there? We went there. Ugh. Ugh. I wear one on the phone. Why is he always stripped in these movies? <laughs> you compromise this man. What is this? You are dead to me. He takes his job very seriously, obviously. Well, he's a he doesn't even work for the government anymore. He does a pay dedicated. Surely they have like surveillance here. Yeah. With cameras or something. Yeah. Wish you could go to the Naval Aviation Museum here in Pensacola. It's so close, as far as I know. That's the uh, Professor X's plane. This guy's a legend. Like, like... <laughs> I don't know why they trusted that thing. Show yourself. Or suffer my infinite wrath. Buggery. Bollocks. Might as well call it dirt. Planet dirt. I change size to the Autobots. What do you mean change size? Oh. I'm changing size. I'm changing size. Don't worry, I got us. Who's your little Autobot? Yeah. Say my name. Say my name. Yeah. All the 12 year olds. It's <laughs> a hot mess. Does he have a cane? Yeah. <laughs> I'm just saying, Joss Whedon has people do this, and he's like Satan, but Michael Bay does this stuff all the time, and... Yeah. Energon. Don't like blood of our race. So Energon keeps them going? Yeah. Built a great machine. It harvests Energon by destroying suns. Destroy suns? You mean... The Prime set out with one rule. Never destroy a planet with life. One of them tried to defy this. The Fallen. He wanted to kill you all by turning on that machine. The Matrix of Leadership. They gave their lives to seal the Matrix away. So you met a Prime? Is he alive? Could that energy somehow be used to reactivate Optimus and bring him back? Okay, so what is this in his brain? What is... That was a lot of stuff, yeah. He can see the map to get to the Energon. The bad Decepticon is a Prime, which is like in the same family as Optimus. And only a Prime can kill the other Prime, something like that. That was a lot of exposition. Oh no. That's a deep Roy. You don't want to go to Egypt? Yeah, I'd love to see it. Isn't there a travel advisory right now there? Yeah, I'm pretty sure there's always gonna be a travel advisory. Girls like dangerous boys. Written by Michael Bay. He didn't write this, I know. Ladies first. Aw. Egyptian kings who built the pyramids of Giza built them to mirror those stars. So it's like an arrow staring straight in the face. Oh. Dumbass! What the Thank you, Bumblebee. You tell me archaeologists never did any like they can usually check behind things like that. That's how they find graves. Yep, this is Egypt. That can't be good. The tomb of the primes. Yo! That's the end energon? Uh it's the key. Wait, what is it's the key to the door. What? They needed the key to, then what is the to, end? Uh, to, oh, to start the machine or something. <laughs> they did all that for nothing? No. How are you oh, not just going to no. drop his corpse? <gasps> oh, oh my there. god. They got him. They got parachutes on him. He's still going to like hit the ground. But the key is full of energon, and the energon can bring him back. The Matrix is full? Yes, I guess. And so Sam is like, it'll still work, even though the key is ruined. <laughs> it's gonna like sprinkle the dust. Yeah, pixie dust on him. Oh no. Got all uh, these IEDs popping. Oh, he's crying. Oh. 
Wow. Was this filmed in Egypt? I don't know. They might have had some shots in Egypt, but I don't know how it would work to film in Egypt. Like, really? Megatron. Decepticons, begin our assault! Oh, no. Luckily, we got the uh, these guys here on the ground. Oh, wow. Is that the Decepticon? Symbol, yeah. Oh, no. Jeez. Oh, these are very elaborate. These are like Zords all coming together. This is kind of messy. Oh, I like the green eyes. Oh my goodness. Oh my god. Oh, jeez. I mean, we're, what do you... Yeah, what do you do? Walk that off pretty easily. Yeah, her white pants don't have a lick of dirt on them. <laughs> Devastator. Devastator? Yeah. Ooh. Oh no, the goat. Oh no. Our two little friends are gonna. This mother. Is all this stuff exiting out of his rear? Yeah, like his back, probably his butt. No, Michael Bay. Oh. Let him go. Wow. Okay, Sam, what wiki? Oh, is that the parents? Yeah. They brought them to Egypt. Oh, geez. Ugh, this movie. What are the rules for this? Like, do they have like a rule book or? There's a lot of stuff happening. It doesn't really make sense. Right now, they're just trying to bring back Optimus. Go with my parents. I'm not gonna go with them. I'm not gonna go with them. Oh. I admire them for trying, but there's like no. It's not balanced. Yeah. yeah. Michael Bay is very like pro military. You okay, in his, really? In his movies. Really? You, you couldn't tell? <laughs> like all these shots, I'm like, get them on the ground. Strike package now. Go, go. I'm pretty sure these are Shutterstock. Get those birds in the air now. <laughs> oh no. I don't even know who that was. Oh man. They're destroying these pyramids. Talk about my lack of clearance. Have you want to help sell you a gazillion lies? All right, Asian Simmons. See, like this is such a, a kids thing here. Right? Do you want to help save a gazillion lives? All right, Agent Simmons, I'm listening. Oh no! Oh man! <laughs> nice catch, Tyrese. And Sam is precious cargo. Yeah, he's got the uh, Matrix dust, and Michaela's there as moral support, and for some slow motion shots. <laughs> Oh, there's those slow motion shots. Oh no, Michaela's pants. You better have a good reason for us to be here. Yeah, like they don't even know why they're there either. Oh, that's cool. Oh, this is this guy. Oh. I am directly below. That's Megatron? Yeah. Oh, those white pants are never gonna come clean. But with the power of OxyClean, even the dirtiest white pants can be new again. The oh. AllSpark dust, or no, not the AllSpark, the Matrix dust. Oh no. Please come back to me, Sam. Oh, his cheek. I love you. Have fought for Optimus, our last descendant. It is and always has been. Your destiny. The Matrix is back. It's like Pet Cemetery. Optimus is like evil. Sometimes dead is better. That would actually be an interesting storyline. If they brought him back and for some reason. If he was like evil? Yeah. Yeah. Stop him, get out! He's like, I'm still beaten up from the last battle. I claim your son. In moments we'll be at firing strength. Take my part, and you will have a power you've never. Aww. 
Transplant those afterburners. Oh yeah. Getting an upgrade. Let's roll. Let's roll. There you go. Now he's fighting the other Prime and Megatron, looks like. Oh. oh he's just wrecking Megatron right now. I wonder why uh, all the other Primes look similar but so different from Optimus. Give me your face. Oh, jeez. Then give me your face and cut it off. Oh! You That's the Fallen? Yeah. This is... We're here too. At least they told each other they loved each other. Aww. Our races united by a history long forgotten. I am Optimus Prime. Can't remember if there's a little. Oh. All right, just finished watching Transformers Revenge of the Fallen. What a movie this one is. I know at the end there, it was kind of hard for me to mask some of my like, ugh, kind of moments with it. I have a few thoughts on it, but I want to hear what you thought first. I don't think it was a horrible film. However, I don't care about anybody else except for Bumblebee and Optimus Prime. <laughs> and I felt like there was a shortage of them. I really didn't get enough of them because that's what I loved about the first one. I felt like they were focused more on those two that were honestly kind of stupid. I, that bums me out that they had more screen time than our sweet Bumblebee. I didn't like that. I didn't like that. The first one brought a lot of intense action scenes. I mean, the, the scenes from downtown were very intense, very elaborate. And I feel like I didn't get that. Except for at the end in Egypt, they had Megatron, the Fallen, and a little bit of Optimus Prime and Bumblebee, but it just, the new characters that they brought on board, I really didn't care for. Leo, I, why are you there? Um, he didn't really serve a purpose for me, so I couldn't emotionally connect to that character. Uh, thus, I didn't really care what happened to him. Of course, the two little guys, I'm really upset that they had them in the film, honestly, because again, I don't feel like they served a purpose. And with the Autobots, the first movie, they were all utilized. They were all very useful. And those two just weren't. They just made them seem like they weren't up to par with the rest of the Autobots. So I don't like that at all. Those were some of the negatives, some of the positives. I enjoyed Michaela in this one. I really did. She was useful, she was smart, and not to say that she wasn't smart in the first one. Yeah, she However, really was. however, I just don't think her character character was utilized. So in this one, she was funny, she was smart. They didn't push it too far with her. And that's what I like. So I enjoyed her in this one a lot more than the first one. You know, the parents, I kind of feel like less is more with them. I enjoyed their characters. I think they brought a lot of humor to the first one. However, when they bring them into a serious situation, I just think that they kind of stuck out and it didn't make any sense. I, I was fine in the beginning with the comedy and Sam leaving for college and whatnot. But again, I think less is more. I think that should have been enough for them. I also did not mind Josh Jumel and Tyrese Gibson. I know in the first one, I was very much like, well, I kind of felt like they were in the same arena as Megan Fox. We're like, well, the movie could have been fine without them. But I actually think that in this movie, they worked. Overall, I don't know. I think that it wasn't focused on the things that I'm looking for when it comes to the Transformer movies. I'm a little bit hesitant for the follow-up films behind this because I hope this is not a sign of what is going to come. I still enjoyed the special effects, the CGI. I thought it looked pretty good, but there was a couple scenes where I was just, it felt like it was going on longer than it should because there wasn't any new material. I honestly think Optimus Prime and Bumblebee make this movie even more so than Sam for me. And so I would have really liked to see just the meat of the movie, like them going at it. And there wasn't a lot of that. It was a lot more, um, not low key, but it was more like human interaction. 
the movie is Transformers. So I wanna see more Transformers. I also had a hard time, even worse than the first one, keeping track of what was happening. I was thoroughly confused with like the matrix and the machine and it turning to dust. It just didn't make any sense to me. Um, and I'm sure people that have seen this many, many times or are cultured on the Transformers world, um, it comes easily for them. But a first time viewer, it was hard to follow. Towards the end, I was completely confused. Like the Matrix and um, the Energon. I, yeah, so I'm gonna need to like talk this through with Holden afterwards because I still don't understand that part. Everything else I did, so I wanted this one to be better. It just didn't include as much action between the Transformers like I would have looked for. I mean, that's what I thought I was going to get with this one, honestly. It was just a lot of bark but no bite when it comes to the action. And so I was a little disappointed. However, Bumblebee and Optimus Prime were still there at the end. And so that's, I can't deny that that makes me happy. I really love those two characters. They're definitely my favorite in the entire movie. And so I, I still give points for that. But overall, it was a little disappointing. The first half of the movie I felt like was a really good pickup from where the first one ended. We're seeing Sam going off to college. It's been a couple of years. Optimus has sent out a beacon for these other Autobots to come in. And the Auto Autobots that we see that came in were like useless nothing. I felt like everything was fine. Like as far as like the progression of the story, the pacing, the tone, probably up until Michaela gets to the college. Cause then we just get, we get tons of exposition. The little bit of the AllSpark didn't matter at all at the end. They weren't even after that. Nobody really cared about that anymore. And then it all became about the Matrix and the, this machine. There was so much exposition with the old Decepticon that I was just getting bored out of my mind. And he's trying to, he, it's just exposition of exposition of exposition, talking about the Matrix and talking about the Primes and talking about this machine. And we haven't seen any of this yet. And we're already two thirds of the way through the movie. So, at, you know, pretty much from anything on from that was, was pretty rough. I feel like the screenwriting is just straight out of a 12 year old's book. It is just, he's calling military officials underneath these giant robot testicles and everything's a joke. There's this Abbott and Costello theory of comedy, which is you have one person who's supposed to be the one grounded in reality that we as the viewer can relate to. And then on the other side is the absurdist one, the one that gets all the laughs and all the jokes, but you need the person stuck in reality to make the absurdity feel absurd. If everything is absurd, nothing is concrete, nothing works. The comedy doesn't work because everyone's mom is running off, is getting high on brownies. Sam is over here tripping on things. The sector seven guy is in a meat shop making jokes. Don't tell my mom. So the whole thing is just this, it's too cartoony. It doesn't take itself seriously enough. And Jen actually made a really great critique when she said, this is a movie about the Transformers. Why are we spending so much time on the people, on the military, on, the, on whatever else? So I agree with that. I, I, wanna, I want more Transformers in my Transformers movie. I will say, I think the action, the explosion, all that stuff, I thought was amped up from the first one. My issue with these movies is never really the action. Michael Bay is the king of action directing, but he, like we said at the very beginning, it's all style but no substance. The action is great, but after a while, after I've seen 18,000 explosions and Transformers, I'm getting a little bored with it. All these movies end up kind of bleeding together. I thought when he died, I thought that was like in the third one, and the, the girl that turns into the robot or whatever that's trying to seduce Sam is really a Decepticon. I thought that happened way later as well. For me, at the end of the day, it kind of comes down to just whatever action spectacle Michael Bay is gonna give me. And that's really the extent of them. I, I feel like this is a very forgettable movie outside of that. We get the cool action shots and you got the girls and you got even the attractive guys running around and cool robots fighting and explosions. But after that, I forget it and I move on. So that's how I feel about this one. It's tough to rate because action wise, I think it's some of the best action sequences of modern movies, it's Michael Bay doing that. But everything else just drags it down so low. You can't live off just that. You need more substance. For me, this is a tough one to rate because I love that and I hate this. So it's a, I don't know, hard metal. What would you rate this one? I enjoy Michael Bay. The Rock is one of my all time favorite movies. However, that doesn't mean anything to me when it comes to reviewing a movie of his, if that makes sense. Just because 
His, the action was great and there was great action scenes means squat to me. As it relates to the story, it doesn't really matter because most of the action scenes, we saw Megan Fox like slow-mo with bombs dropping a million times. But that's not what the movie was about. And I think that the thought process was because this looks cool, that that's gonna go farther. And for me, it just didn't. The first one was great to me. This one, not as great. I think I'm gonna go with, uh, I'm gonna do a 6.5. No, I'm gonna do a six. Like Holden said, it's a very forgettable film. I can guarantee you by the end of these series, I'm not gonna remember what this movie was really about or what happened specifically in this. There was a lot of moments where I caught myself like, you know, just trying to keep myself awake. And that's not something that I experienced during the first one. So I'm gonna go with the six. I think Megan Fox, I think Michaela had probably one of the better redeeming arcs in this movie. Mm -hmm. She would abs I know that it's, she's like, do you think I'm shallow in the first movie? And I just wanna be like, yes, <laughs> you're an idiot. And then in this one, where we see that she actually seems to sincerely care about Sam. She's making an effort to, to be long distance with him. There was some banter at the beginning about, I'm breaking up with you today or whatever. I'm gonna take that, give them the benefit of the doubt and say that's just their playful joking and their relationship. But she did seem, she was getting on the little telecom thing and she's like, I'm actually kind of nervous to the dog. And she flew all that way to go be with him. So it seemed like she actually, you know, had some depth in this one. That's pretty, that's pretty low bar where I'm like, she's, a good girlfriend, woo, you know. Shia LaBeouf, I feel like, was fine in this. He was, he's, he's really good, like comedic, like physical, like all this chaos is happening. And he's he's probably the most grounded one. I guess. Maybe that's his purpose in these movies is to be like the mom, dad, please stop it. You know, I don't know. He's very, very high strung. You are absolutely right about his parents, less is more. Uh, I think in the first one, it was like just the appropriate amount. Having them at the end of like the climactic moment, why, why are they there? They, there was no reason for them to be there. The two robots, we talked about it a little, we mentioned it a couple times in the actual reaction. I don't know what to make of them. It seems as though, and I could be totally off base, it seems as though that they were like these absurd caricatures of black people. I could be totally off base, I could be totally wrong, but it seemed as though they were almost mocking them. I don't know, I don't know. I've heard that critique before, and when I see this again, it's, and they're talking in this sort of slang, and they have gold teeth and big ears, and I, I just, <laughs> I don't know, maybe I'm looking too into that. Let me know what your thoughts on that. Cause I was like, this seems like, am I supposed to laugh at this? I don't, I don't know. For me, the, the action while great is not enough to pull this movie up. I'm at about a 5.5 in this. I would say about halfway, I was pretty solid. You know, we're in for a fun ride. Story is good so far, the piece of the AllSpark, great. And then it just plummets at the end. So 5.5 for me. I also think that my score would have been a little higher if they hadn't tried to incorporate too many elements into this film. And is that still in his mind or did that just go away or? I don't know, but we had that. We had the the all the part of the all spark. Um, and then we had the, the thing that turned to dust. The matrix. The matrix. So if they would have just scaled that back a little bit, and again, gone with the less is more. I think my score would have been a little higher, but for a first time viewer, it was just trying to do too much at the same time. You're bringing in all these new characters, you're throwing around a lot of action, which is great, but I need to see what I came for, which is these Transformers just going at it. And I didn't get that. So a little too much going on. And I'm always hyper aware of that when I'm watching movies for the first time. Are they doing it well? Stranger Things is a perfect example of it being done well. This is an example of it not being done well. So I'm gonna go with six. So uh, I don't think this is a spoiler, but after this one, Megan Fox is out. She had a falling out with Michael Bay. I think you, we were already aware of that. Yeah, she called him Hitler. Well, I mean, she just butchered a whole generation of cinema. <laughs> that too much? Okay, anyway. And it's sad because at, at, as far as their characters go, they finally like cross that I love you barrier. And then he's like, see you later. The next one, um, three, Dark of the Moon. I'm looking forward to watching it, I'll say that. But of course, these are just our thoughts, everyone. We'd love to know your comments down in the comments below. So leave us a comment down below. If you enjoyed the video, leave it a like. It does help the channel out a lot with the algorithm and all that and your interaction. And subscribe, you'll be notified next time we post a video. Uh, we should be able to crank some more out more frequently now that we're a little more settled in at home. And check out Patreon. You can watch the full length reaction 
of Transformers Revenge of the Fallen with us so you can see every eye roll and ugh that we make along the way. And sometimes some, oh yeah, that was cool. It is very, a lot of the things are very, very cool. You can also check out some of these videos early over there too, so you can see them before the general public does. So that's awesome as well. But as always, Jen and I appreciate you watching. We'll catch you in the next video. Take care.